Sherry Lewis was born Phyllis Naomi Hurwitz on January 17, 1933, to Jewish parents and Ritz and Abraham Hurwitz. Her father was a founding member of Yeshiva University in New York City. Through the encouragement of both of her parents, Sherry began performing at the age of 13 when her father taught her magic acts with Jewish content. As a youth, she had lessons in acrobatics, juggling, piano, violin, and ventriloquism. She studied piano and violin at New York's High School of Music and Art, dance at the American School of Ballet, and acting with Sanford Meisner of the Neighborhood Playhouse. She attended Columbia University for one year, then left college to become a performer. In 1952, Lewis and her puppetry won first prize on Arthur Godfrey's Talent Scouts television show. In March 1956, she and Lambchop appeared on Captain Kangaroo, and by 1960 she had her own television program. Sherry subsequently had numerous series both in the UK and the US, and performed extensively around the country at venues as varied as performing arts centers, county fairs in Branson, Missouri. Sherry also was an accomplished conductor of orchestras and wrote over 60 books. She got married to Sherry Lewis Stan Lewis. She kept her surname from her first marriage, from Stan Lewis. Sherry met her second husband who was publisher Jeremy Tarcher, 1932-2015, a brother of novelist Judith Krantz. She met Tarcher on the set of a radio show, and they married a year later. The couple married on March 18, 1958, just as Lewis's career was heating up. Her first network children's program, The Sherry Lewis Show, replaced Howdy Doody on NBC in 1960. This got Sherry Lewis the biggest break in 1957. She was a talented ventriloquist who invented the sock puppet Lamb Chop, and her pals Charlie Horse and Hush Puppy filled their home with similar plush characters. After the run of the Sherry Lewis show Lewis branched out, writing along with her husband Jeremy Tarcher The Lights of Zader an episode on NBC's science fiction series Star Trek in the late 1960s. Lewis acted and danced as part of touring companies of shows like Damn Yankees and Funny Girl. A trained conductor, she also often guested with orchestras around the world. Lewis performed frequently in Las Vegas nightclubs, most often with dancer Donald O'Connor. Even Lamb Chop made appearances, her act spiced up a bit for the adult audience. From 1968 to 1976, Lewis lived in London and had a program airing Sunday evenings on the BBC. In 1975, she briefly returned to U.S. children's television with The Sherry Lewis Show, a syndicated program set at a puppet-run television station, with Lewis voicing the puppet characters and acting as the human assistant station manager. A family television staple, Lewis frequently guested on various variety specials. In 1986 alone, she appeared on the Television Academy Hall of Fame, NBC, NBC's 60th Anniversary Celebration and the 38th Annual Emmy Awards, NBC. She hosted an hour-long informational series for young mothers from 1957 to 1959 called Hi, Mom, NBC, which was educating parents as well as children. She also spoke at a hearing for the Children's Television Act in 1993, urging the House Telecommunications Subcommittee to protect young viewers from junk television and to strengthen the provisions of the Children's Television Act, creating more quality educational programming for children. She returned to children's TV in full force with the entertaining as well as educational Lamb Chops Play Along, PBS, 1992-97. Here a new generation of children enjoyed the antics of Lamb Chop, probably the world's best-loved sock. She and her friends Charlie Horse and Hush Puppy had some silly adventures, making mistakes, and learning important lessons along the way. Lamb Chop's Play Along was an engaging program, a refreshing change from the syrupy fare often served up to children. While Lewis lamented the mean-spirited characters on some shows for children, her puppets were not without their edge. Lamb Chop, Charlie Horse and Hush Puppy were irreverent children who were sometimes conniving and rude and always full of realistic personality quirks like vanity and anxiety. While Lewis acted as the disciplinary and maternal figure in the program, she was never preachy, and played the role of the wiser, older playmate rather than distant adult. Stressing education through entertainment, Lewis taught tricks to remember new vocabulary and games to help with math. The show was a popular and critical success, 
earning five consecutive Daytime Emmy Awards and a loyal audience. In 1994, Lewis appeared on NBC's telecast of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade featuring a huge lamb chop balloon. The next year, she guest starred on the CBS sitcom The Nanny in an episode revolving around lamb chop, and in 1996 appeared as herself in an episode of Cybill, CBS. Noticing the lack of holiday specials for Jewish celebrations, Lewis produced PBS Lamb Chop special Hanukkah in 1995 and Sherry's Passover Surprise in 1997. She also hosted the math education special Lamb Chop in the Land of No Numbers, PBS, and appeared in the PBS special Kathy Lee Gifford's Lullabies for Little Ones. Lewis stopped production on Lamb Chop's Play Along in 1997 and began to develop a new program for children. Deciding that kids love pizza, music and the beach, she came up with the Charlie Horse Music Pizza, featuring Lewis as a pizza parlor owner and Dom DeLucy as the cook. The show, set at the beach, with much of the focus on music education, premiered in January 1998. In 1998, she was diagnosed with uterine cancer, and the doctors informed her that it was inoperable hence had only six weeks to live. She died on August 2, 1998 when she was undergoing chemotherapy after developing viral pneumonia.